Hi, my name is Jan Blake, and I am the chair of the Robinson Subcommittee of the College Historical Society, in short, the HIST. This podcast series shows the derbies of rhetoric events, which are our well-known events organized, consisting of seven minutes speech on any topic. Previous speeches have ranged from Guela and Trinity to American muscle cars, so there's sure to be something for everyone. Enjoy listening. What if today Ireland was a dictatorship or a totalitarian state? Would we be allowed to speak on this platform as we are now and voice our opinions freely? Would we be living in George Orwell's 1984 with an ever-watching Big Brother haunting us? Although democracy has been called corrupt and crooked, indeed Winston Churchill has called democracy the worst form of government. That is, except for all those others that have been tried. Good evening, everyone. I invite you to join me in exploring whether democracy is a myth or reality in the 21st century. Firstly, do we know what democracy actually means? Well, demos means people and kratos means power. So democracy literally means the power of the people. So where did it all start? The custom of self-government was actually born in the Middle East, in modern day Iraq and Iran. By the fifth century BC, this concept was brought to the West and brought to fruition in Greece. Democracy was a lawful rule of an assembly of male citizens. Women, slaves and foreigners were normally excluded, whose sovereign power to decide things was no longer to be given over to imaginary gods or to an aristocracy or bloodthirsty tyrants. It was now the people who made decisions. So now democracy has been created. But as Plato reminds us, it will not be a true democracy unless its citizens are sufficiently prepared for it. It requires active citizenship. As Barack Obama said, the most important office in a democracy is the citizen. In this day and age, I get the impression that we are not taking our role as citizens seriously enough. And this is a key reason why democracy in the world is becoming a myth instead of reality. Coming back to Plato for a moment. In his five regimes, which are aristocracy, democracy, oligarchy, democracy, and tyranny, he outlines that the ideal government is a mixture of the first four regimes I mentioned. However, it is vital that we avoid tyranny. You've perhaps heard of the infamous President Trump, but we have been warned for years that he is on a path to tyranny. His actions and words makes one wonder whether he cares about democracy or the rule of law one bit. Have we gone from democracy to tyranny in the world's biggest superpower? One of the reasons for the failure of democracy is social media. It is an echo chamber. It repeats what you want to hear. How many people here catch up on the latest news on Facebook or Twitter instead of newspapers or news apps? Well, so, so, social media is without doubt not a reliable source of information. It has been described as a fire hose of falsehood. Democracy is a myth in society today because we are being misinformed on a daily basis and hence we cannot take the right decisions. Fake news is flooding social media and it is one of the biggest political problems facing democracies around the world. For example, in Germany, the far right Alternative for Germany party won 12.6% of the parliamentary seats, largely because of fears and falsehoods spread on social media. Did you know that during the American presidential elections in 2016, people were being misled by Russian bots who were posting lies about Hillary Clinton on people's social media? These bots have also tweeted massively in support of Catalan independence. Radical and outrageous opinions are now more valued than expert opinions. The truth is that public opinion is often the worst of all opinions. In a democracy, we think we have the freedom of speech and individuality, but in reality, we are being told how to vote and how to think. 
History shows us that democracy has frequently failed because it is too weak to resist the rise of authoritarian regimes. The French Republic, established after the revolution of 1789, dissolved into anarchy and mob rule and gave democracy a bad name for the next hundred years. The democratic government installed in Russia in 1917 didn't last out the year. The democratic Weimar Republic, installed in Germany after World War I, failed by the early 1930s. The question is, when does democracy cross the line to mobocracy? The harsh reality of democracy as we know it is that fundamental human rights in so-called democratic countries are not obeyed. Robert Mugabe, who was ousted in November 2017, he was democratically elected, but he has destroyed the meaning of democracy in Zimbabwe and further stained its reputation worldwide. The president of Belarus that Olivia mentioned in her speech today, he is also a major threat to democracy. Brexit teaches us a crucial lesson that citizens need to take the time to understand the issue that they are voting for. Were you aware that the day after Brexit, the biggest search on Google in the UK was, what is the EU? Need I say more? Democracy is a great idea, but what can we do to prevent the dream of democracy becoming the nightmare of Hitler and Mugabe? What can we do to realize Plato's vision and turn away from tyranny? Firstly, we need to take our role as citizens more seriously. We must not fear politics, but embrace it and use it to bring about positive change by, for instance, using our vote wisely. Secondly, we must all take the responsibility of educating ourselves to evaluate the information we are given and to make our own decisions, not just stay with the masses. Democracy is not a panacea, but it is the best hope we have for humanity. It's an ongoing struggle, but we have to keep at it if you want to make it a reality rather than a myth in the 21st century. Thank you.